Hello friends, this video on induction part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please watch induction part 1 and part 2. In this problem, we have to prove that 2 into 7 to the power n plus 3 into 5 to the power n minus 5 is divisible by 24. That means 2 into 7 to the power n plus 3 into 5 to the power n minus 5 is equal to 24 into some constant. We can say 24 into b. Let's prove for n is equal to 1 what we get is 2 into 7 to the power 1 plus 3 into 5 to the power 1 minus 5. What we have done? We have just replaced the value of n to 1. So what we get is 2 into 7, 14, plus 5 into 3, 15, minus 5. What do you get is 24. And 24 is divisible by 24. That means the statement is true for n is equal to 1. Now let's assume, please note, we are assuming it. Let's assume for n is equal to k, the statement is true. That is 2 to the power 7k plus 3 to the power 3 into 5 to the power k minus 5 is equal to 24d. This is our assumption. This is statement 1. 24d is d. Now we have to prove that n is equal to k plus 1, it is correct. So for n is equal to k plus 1, the LHS becomes. 2 into 7 to the power k plus 1 plus 3 into 5 to the power k plus 1 minus 5. Here we can take 7 common. So what do you get? 2 into 7 to the power k. So we have 2 into 7 to the power k. We wanted this. So let's add and subtract this. So I'll say plus 3 into 5 to the power k minus 5. Now I'll subtract this minus 3 into 5 to the power k plus 5. Because we wanted to convert this into this form, we have subtraction and added. Plus 3 into 5 to the power into 5 to the power k. We have 5 to the power k here, so we are converting into 5 to the power k form and minus 5. So what we get here is 7 into this becomes 24d as we have assumed minus or will this stay 7 into 4d minus 7 into 3 into 5 to the power k plus 7 into 5 35 plus 5 into 3 15 into 5 to the power k minus 5. So what we get here is 24 into 7, 24 into 7d. What I am doing is I am trying to take 24 common minus 7 into 3 is 21, minus 21 plus 15 is equal to minus 6 into 5 to the power k plus 30. Correct. So 30 also. So I can write this as 24 into 7d minus 6 common 5 to the power k minus 5. So if we can, we know that this is multiple of 24, this is multiple of 6. So if we can somehow prove that this is multiple of 4, our job is done. And we know that 5 to the power k minus 5 is multiple of 4. This is 4. We know this. Because if you put k is equal to 1, this becomes 5, 5 minus 5, 0. k is equal to 2. 5 square 25 minus 5, 20. And 5 q minus 5 is equal to 125 minus 5, 120. That's all a multiple of 4. 5 to the power k, k minus 5 is 4d. So this we can say 24 into 7d minus 6 into 4d. We will take 
this is d1 this is d2 actually there are four two d2 so we'll take 24 common this becomes 7 d1 minus d2 this is also a constant thus we have proved that for n is equal to k plus 1 this equation is 24 into some constant that means this statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 hence the statement is true for all values of n let me repeat what we have done we have proved the statement is true for n is equal to 1 we have assumed this statement is true for n is equal to k and then we have proved that the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 hence the statement is true for all values of n let's take a last example where we have to prove that a into b to the power n is equal to a to the power n b to the power here let's put the value of n is equal to 1 what we get a into b to the power 1 is equal to a to the power n b to the power 1 or a b is equal to a b that is correct so it is true for n is equal to 1 let's assume that this is true for n is equal to k then we'll have a to the power a b to the power k is equal to a to the power k b to the power k this is our equation 1 now we have to prove that the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so for n is equal to k plus 1 my LHS become a b to the power k plus 1 I can write a b to the power k plus 1 as a b into a b to the power k a b to the power k I can replace here this becomes a b into a to the power k b to the power k this becomes a to the power k plus 1 b to the power k plus 1 and this is our RHS we have to prove this only thus we have proved that the statement is true for k plus 1 so the statement is true for all values of n let me repeat what we have done we have proved the statement is true for n is equal to 1 then we have assumed that the statement is true for n is equal to k we have proved that the statement is true for n equal to k plus 1 that means the statement is true for all the values of n thank you thank you visit examfear.com to watch free education videos try free online test get the best quality study material study from the best tutor and mentors and much more thanks once again